Tomorrow morning, thousands of students in Philadelphia will stay home for virtual classes. Today, the district decided to include three dozen more schools to its list of places temporarily returning to online learning. That brings the total number to more than 90 across the city. There just aren't enough teachers and staff available thanks to the Omicron surge. As NBC 10 Stephen Fisher reports, parents are now forced once again to juggle going to work and keeping their kids at home while they learn. COVID-19 is the main culprit in why the school district of Philadelphia has bumped up the number of schools to more than 90 that will go to a fully remote learning schedule all week long. The district firmly believes that in-person learning is the best option that we have or that we should be implementing. And it really, um, unfortunately, there are going to be situations where we don't have the staff at a school to open up safely for in-person learning. Monica Lewis with the district says every day they're reviewing data of their own staff on who can come to work and who cannot due to COVID. Based on that information is how they're making these decisions, which is how more than 30 additional schools got added to the list Sunday. These 88 schools will be virtual through the end of this week, and obviously the information will be reviewed every day. Um, unfortunately, there could be some additional schools that are added, um, you know, day by day. It just really depends on the numbers that are coming in. Keeping students and parents on their toes as child care and work schedules will be impacted. Making an announcement at 4 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, leaving everybody to scramble for child care to make arrangements to, to be able to get to work um, is probably as bad as them making announcements at 10 o'clock at night during the week. Arthur Steinberg with Pennsylvania's branch of the American Federation of Teachers says they wanted a two-week pause and felt it would be best to get back on solid in-person footing. You have a better chance of getting everybody back in place permanently by taking this pause making sure that you give people more access to vaccines, okay, make the accessibility to testing and the upgraded PPE. So more than 90 schools are on remote learning to start the week, and that number could go up throughout the week, so it's important for parents and students to continue to pay attention. And for a full list of schools impacted by this decision, you can find it on our website, NBCPhiladelphia.com. In Center City, Stephen Fisher, NBC 10 News.